Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Nah, there'll be plenty of time for all that stuff later, after we go fix up the fence. What's that? Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. The 
disgusting. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had to be! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! Stuck in the dirt. Give us the food! You fuck you, asshole! Now we'll take what we want! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that is! Did you really think you could fuck with us? What happened? We Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed now down earlier. Fuck. Gonna have to move it. Can't hide forever! Lee, hurry up. Do me the what about all the uh, uh, Ah, fuck, where did that go? I gotta get run of you. Another one? Food, How many of those things asshole? did we push down? You assholes! Give it the food! Uh, 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 uh. What about our arrangements? Uh, uh, you really think you fell uh, away? I can't see us! Okay. Yeah. Uh. 
bear. Come on. The gate's right there. Get out of here! You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! Lee! What's wrong? I thought this place was safe! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Fucking bandits. They have no right being out here. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you.